one. I have Fable again. Yes, Max Pregnant. What? Congratulate me. No, let's never say that, please, again. Why? Because it just made me, like, almost hurl. What is wrong with having a baby? Fable? I'm fine by you, my... Yeah? I'm gonna slap you, but this you time instead with the front hand, it's gonna be with the back hand. Oh my god, you don't have enough pimp brains for that. Oh, I just need to get a little bigger hat is all. Your pimp, your pimp game isn't strong enough. Get out of here. Anyway, let's start this. Shorted space is so expansive, oh. so handcrafted. Oh, I love oh. you, Todd Howard. <laughs> Slippery little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Off that mask, shall we? Todd Howard. Yeah, and I would have gotten uh, away with it if it wasn't for you stupid fans. You call yourself Bethesda fans? Starfield fans are the real Bethesda fans because oh, I'll yeah. stop you right there. These Starfield fans, are they in the room with us now? Let me grab my Luigi board. I'm gonna try <laughs> to make contact with them. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't know anyone that likes Starfield. I've, I've heard nothing about Starfield to the point where even the modders gave up on that and they were. If modders give up on something, you know it's not worth anyone's time. Yeah. If I ever get to making the video game that I want to, I want to invite modders because... Here's the thing people forget. Modders make your game more popular. It makes people want to buy your game more and have their own adventures and try new things. And I'm always looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Cyber's fans had to suffer for six months. Cyberpunk yeah. fans had to suffer for two years. But Bethesda fans have been oh, suffering for yeah. the last 15 years. For the better part of the last oh, two decades, Todd's been fucking Bethesda fans like a guard at Arkham Asylum. Just murdering that clussy thrice over. Have you ever wondered why that is? I'll oh, tell okay, you. In 2010, yeah, I wasn't expecting Vegas, that. A game that many consider to be one of the greatest games. It really is. It's amazing what they did with that engine and what they got away with in that game. Especially the DLC, He's the deal. Uh, I can I just say this real quick? Every piece of DLC in that game yeah. is worth it. Here's the problem. From what I understand, one of the reasons a lot of Bethesda games aren't doing so hot lately is because they're using a system that's so old. It has to. It's basically has to be maintenance every time just to make anything new. They refuse to innovate, which yeah. is not a good thing. Refusing to innovate really leads to backsliding, especially in the entertainment industry. Yes. Uh, here's the thing. Todd Howard once said, and I quote, we, here at Bethesda, we don't, we don't, we don't like to look back. We ba they basically kind of want to keep looking forward. In my opinion, yeah, you guys don't want to look back. You guys want to stand still as much as possible because yeah. – you guys are stagnating so hard, it's actually incredibly depressing. Yeah, that's basically what Fallout 4 was, and really Fallout 76, every, yeah. Every remake of, of Skyrim. Dear God, there's yeah. There's a definitive edition, the edition. there's a remake, definitive edition, every edition, yep. No. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. I do remember that song. By that I mean they love the hookers gambling and blow. God knows I do. <laughs> That's why you don't play roulette. <laughs> oh my god. They didn't just make New Vegas. They made Todd Howard their bitch. People respected Todd's baby, but they loved Obsidian's baby and Todd Pretty much. like that. Todd. Yeah, was he respected by that. Honestly, from the Fallout show, it seems he really disliked that. He kind yeah, to my understanding, uh, the Fallout show, they kind of made a couple decisions that really messed with the canon. And he basically said he wasn't really happy about that. And a lot of fans aren't either. I don't understand why they let it happen, but hey, whatever, I suppose. Yeah, whatever, I guess. So Todd made a pledge Wait, to punish if you, if you, fans. I just want to say something real quick. Uh, if you guys like the show, that's cool. Just know that I feel like it could have been better. It could have been better, yeah. For the yeah. rest of eternity, Todd would force the Bethesda fans to hype up every game he made. Mark yeah. it like it was going to be even better than New Vegas, and then rug pull them on launch with their worst game yet. He yeah, it's always buggy as hell. Like Sisyphus pushing the BBW mm -hmm. up the hill. Surely would uh, devastate them, Ray Todd thought. Stop it all over him like that for decades. I don't know what they want with Starfield. Old, but unfortunately, it Bethesda just seems like they just 
else was... It just seems like they wanted uh, No Man's Sky without putting in the extra effort that No Man's Sky did. Games in the first place. If you want to know uh, something that kind of bothers me? What? Uh, because you know how No Man's Sky originally started as a very ambitious game, but failed yeah. at launch and it took a couple years for them to bring it back to life? Yeah. It, that made it a thousand times better and they're actively trying harder and harder to 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 fix the mistake they made. I think mm. because of that, Tom Howard literally got it in his head that it doesn't matter how buggy or bad the game is, it's about how it will become in the future. And I'm not blaming Starfield for this, but I kind of can't help but think he saw that and instantly thought, it's okay, yeah. we'll make a crappy game. But if it succeeds in the future, it'll be great. That's not, that's not how it works. It only works for Starfield because they realized they made a mistake and they and they work hard to fix that mistake. Tom, yeah. Bethesda has thousands, millions of dollars worth of revenue. There is no mistakes like that on their part. There shouldn't be. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's basically the big problem of they think the fans will fix it, fix it basically. Off that high of limitless possibility. They're getting off on the foreplay. They don't even need to fuck. Better than New uh, Vegas? Worse than New Vegas? Uh, Who right. gives a damn? Dodd could schedule his next shit for November 11th, and Bethesda fans would start speculating on how big it'll be. The struggle Dude. towards the heights is enough to fill a Bethesda fan's heart. Yeah, One must it's imagine crazy. Bethesda fans happy. Fuck you, Todd. Don't believe well, me? Let's take a look at history. History. Fans love the deeper role-playing mechanics of New Vegas. Yeah. When fans heard about a Fallout 4, they thought, I wonder yeah. how much deeper these RPG mechanics can get. More or less, yeah, that's what they hope. Deeper. How about shallower and back in Boston? Surely those crannies The only thing I even liked in Fallout 4 was the way the armor worked. Or the way the power armor works. Gonna be pissed, said chess club alumni yeah, Todd Howard. I 10 out of 10, three Todd I... never misses, but... I, I'm really sad because I was one of the people that really was into the whole hype of Fallout 4 and I thought it would be so amazing. Just when I played it, I kind of became really bored with it instantly because I thought, hey, yeah, I can build my own settlements. That's really cool. Can you do anything but just else? To know that, nope. Not really. It's kind of limited. They try to limit you on how to build a settlement. I had to mod the game to do what I wanted. And even then, I'm just like, the mods can't make this game better. It actually kind of great. It kind of makes it boring, even more boring than what it is. This is really sad. I, I wish I I wish it was better. It had so much potential, but no, yeah, no, it doesn't. But Todd, really where the hell are all the role-playing mechanics? Yeah. Why are all these characters so boring? You only had four Fuck choices. You, People... Now all the NPCs are gone. Oh, you don't mind? You put a thousand hours into the game? Oh, I still can't believe someone did that. Did I just catch you having fun? <laughs> The only fan of Fallout uh, 76 was extinguished. So now no one liked Fallout 76 at launch. It was so Yeah, bad no one did. I, funny enough, my bad. friend and I saw the forest through the trees and realized... Mm -hmm. but because we were kind of hyped for this game. We're like, oh, we'll get to play it together. A Fallout game together. And we we're like... We're seeing more bad stuff about. It. We'll uh, we'll just how won't. Was, how Todd was a liar. How they could never trust Bethesda ever again. Even Todd had to admit that sometimes... It doesn't just work. Listen, we messed up, people. We know we made an MMO where there's nothing to do. That being said, uh, by Storefield, where there's nothing to do on thousands of maps. Yeah. The slot pipe. Consume the slot. You win my workers. Why are you all laughing right now? I'm not joking. Uh, <laughs> And here's where the twist of fate comes. Yeah. This is the first time where Bethesda fans got truly angry with Todd. Not because of the shallower than ever RPG mechanics, the empty maps, or the removal of gore, but because they mm. slightly improved the combat and gunplay. <laughs> Their favorite game, Morrowind, critically acclaimed RPG, has the shittiest gameplay you've ever seen. And that's just the way Bethesda fans but like that's it. Just so this fine, betrayal isn't it? caused an upheaval. People were burning their Todd jerseys, ripping down their Todd statues. But in the midst of the chaos, the good news I don't for know Todd anyone was that, that likes the this. golden age of gaming for fuck ups like him. Nowadays, every bad game gets a chance to become mediocre with just a couple years of updates. And if the anime is good enough, shit, you might just reach the coveted the game has always been good status where your face. Oh, yeah, that was from, uh, quite literally Cyberpunk, who also had to work really hard to fix their game. Yeah, but again, here's the problem a lot of these. Yeah. I, 
a lot can be kind of conveyed to super ambitious but not enough time but i can't we can't say that anymore because a lot of these games are coming out more and more buggy mm -hmm. and it's just like you guys have thousands if not millions of dollars in revenue and you That's... always basically keep throwing out your employees are working on it and then switch them out because you're trying to save money save money that's you're not just how going it to works. lose you're putting, money you're literally just going, yeah you're losing more money and you're putting you're putting people who were working hard out of jobs for what that ed mm. so you can pay your ceo slash uh shareholders just another five bonus extra dollars? yeah that they don't even deserve <sighs> it's so stupid it really and is. voluntarily erase all the bad memories to make more room for hype. But in Bethesda's case, mm -hmm. this is just a quarterly disappointment model. Bethesda fans ask for a car. Yeah, you have a car, But you can't have wheels. What the hell? God, damn it, can't have I didn't get play this game, by the way. For obvious yeah, reasons. No Managed to keep the wheels on your totally unmodded car. Well, now you can't leave, you dumb bitch. Say what? Three Todd Marys and kiss your toddy pillow goodnight to enter Todd's cum dungeon. You can't. Oh, my God. The bullet sponges? We've added a bunch of difficulty slides. Go hand. Oh my god, that looks stupid. It does, it really does. But if you think you know bouncing better than Todd Emperor uh, Todd, we're nerfing your XP generation. Want mods? Have what? mods. God rest, brothers. Keep on fighting the good fight. But don't forget to check out the $8 mod that adds a 20-minute mission. Fuck you, Todd. Want a what reason to build hell? a base? Sure, we'll let you craft ammo. Get those sweatshops up and running, you crazy kid. This is literally just grind so that you can boost your numbers to make it look like a lot of people are playing it and having fun. It's hey. the grind. Just one little catch. The final ingredient can only be bought at Home Depot seven at a time. So enjoy your 20 rounds of 45. Oh! <laughs> Sun Yin's gonna get a five cent raise after that bullet's performance. Stay there, I gotta go see if my Home Depot's got my new hickeys back in stock. Oh. I said get the fuck out of my way, I'm going oh. to Home Depot. You asked for better maps? <laughs> okay, that guy chuckle out me. Very nice, I've got nothing bad to say about this. Now oh. as for performance improvements, that is oh. not why it's a better time to play. Todd, any thoughts on the performance issues? Stop being poor. Squad, get this broke bitch out of Todd's sight. What GPU what? did he have? A 3080. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you want a nice- Wait, what? See, like Harbor, okay, you freak. I'm more of an operation um, anchorage man, but you know what? Massive Rod Howard's got a gift for you. Go ahead. Oh, oh that even reminds me the DLCs this. from Fallout 3 were better than the DLCs they're putting out now. Yep. Yep, they uh, were. Another empty map. No, 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 no. Dear There's Lord. Handcrafted nothing in there. That is a handcrafted crafted nothing. Map. The shitted space DLC is a bread sandwich. It starts fine, it's nothing. It fine, but there's nothing in the middle. There's and nothing special. It, nothing worth like your you time. Eaten anything at all. With the added nothing to actually add to it. Dollars poor. It's late stage Dear God. horse armor, except people wanted to buy the horse armor. Half the people that own this DLC from the deluxe edition don't even know it came out. Thirty dollars for this. this no way in heck am I doing. This Bethesda's marketing no way this in as hell. handcrafted. You watch the trailer and they say completely handcrafted world. Then cut to someone using their hand to craft. Like this chick showing up for work is some ancient Miyagi-Do technique <laughs> or some shit. The reality is they're selling Bethesda fans their fat assets back. We had handcrafted, much. they took it away, and now they're selling it back at a premium. Now is yeah. it premium? Hell yeah, that's how no. they do it. Why is he twiddling his little toes? This is a... This is why I prefer, I love that indie game devs are getting so much push nowadays. Because yeah. they, they're really, like I said, indie devs are the kind of people that make games they want to play. Because those are the games that other people have been wanting to play as well. Aggressive AI? He's literally twiddling his it. fucking feet! Let's get into it. The planet's on its period, so everything's blazing red all the goddamn time, stealing what? Blood Dragon's entire heavy flow. The city's like the LP version of New Atlantis, what still the hell? any modicum of personality. The side quests are boring as hell, and all the RPG mechanics got left behind in New Vegas. Not to mention the, the story's five hours long, that guy's toupee almost flew off, and what three the of hell? those hours are filler. Most of the new weapons are actually reskins, there's no new wow. shipments, no new companions. I forgot to say anything about the character characters because none of them are even mildly remarkable. Apparently gonna... someone told me there were supposed to be like two companions are fine but no one's been able to find them or like there's been very few people that have been able to. Oh that reminds this you. There's a new free expansion on No Man's Sky. Yeah it's actually gotten to the point where a lot of people made jokes and basically say it's okay we forgive you just sell us a DLC we'll literally pay you for all your hard work. It's literally, I've literally seen a meme of, 
it's time for new Odyssey. Do well, uh, uh, new D, uh, new free expansion. Like, no, 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 no man's sky. Yeah, we're we're the only one who's paying. Just was tell us the price. Actually, I take that back. This guy told me to shoot his son for going on vacation. What? But fair. And Bethesda meat riders keep saying that there's a ton of side content. But my brothers and God, where's the fuck may that be? Under okay. this chick's dick, I'm lost. Who is even the Great Serpent? Is she packing the Great Serpent? Do what? I have it? Also, I've gotten used to our decisions not mattering, but your decisions have hit an all-time low of not mattering at all in the grand finale of this DLC. Check Wow. Spoiler alert, the game ends and they give you two choices. Fight the man or help the man. Help the man and he'll tell you to go sacrifice yourself, which triggers a game over screen, so you really only have one option. Fight the wow. man. Wow. So once you fight the man and his pawns, you get to decide which house rules the world, which only changes who gets pissy about your choice. Don't expect any unique rewards, widespread consequences, character deaths, or any feeling that any of this matters outside of you pissing off one of the three lobotomites in this room. And they go, hey, while you're at it, as long as you're deciding shit, holy war on the Gentile planets. Yeah, your name. Say nay, and they go, fair enough. You get an apartment. Go take a nap. Say yay, and they go, all right. We'll go start a holy war, but you go start the what? holy snore, buddy. <laughs> you go take a nap. Right, now who's gonna make these wow. You go, boss? Do what I do and this tell is incredibly to to stupid. I... Get the... Oh, well. I hate this already. This has been known. Fuck off our $30 planet. But here's the key to an apartment. <sighs> Still go take a nap before you do. Wow. Literally no change. Why the fuck is the Space Crusader random decision on the end? That should have been the whole DLC. That sounds like a way better idea. All around this DLC is $30 to go mm. visit the cum station. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't like it? Todd doesn't give a fuck. Welcome He's back, got Daisy. Fallout Shelter money thrice over. He's living I somewhere. played Fallout Shelter and I didn't spend a single dollar. Tropical jerk it off yeah. on Versace sofas. He's off getting lost in the 4,000 square foot of his 10,000 square foot Scarface mansion. And I almost had hope that they were going to turn things around. And then I came across an Elder Scrolls Blades listing on the App Store and realized wow. that this was too busy getting caviar licked off their balls to realize what fans actually want from their They games. don't care so anymore. They're just a bunch of suits now. They just don't care anymore. Yep. It, they... <laughs> What else can I say? That one day he will bring us back to a new level of prosperity. On that note, then, what have you been playing lately? Have you been, uh, what's been inspiring you lately? Uh, let's uh. see. I do jump a lot lately between Diablo 4, depending on my mood. We're doomed, everyone. Pack it up, please. Oh. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Oh, my God. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Dear God. Right into that imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Fan of these <sighs> storm cucks. Skibidi was fine until you rizzed along. <laughs> that was awful. That last bit, I mean. I'm tired. Of it. I'm tired, Grandpa. I know you don't feel so good, Mr. Sark. Anyway. Oh. Uh, well, I miss a video about how bad Bethesda's been. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna have to be a free white coat. Hey! <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And if you like us well enough, check out the Patreon. Everything, almost everything, on the Patreon is $1. Because if you subscribe to the Patreon, you get to watch more of us being idiots. Anyway. Thank you all so much. I'll see you. See you later. And thank you for the bless you. Anything to say, Fable? I got nothing. All right. Hey, legitimate. Nothing. The video was just just to see the state of Festa is really depressing. So I got nothing. Yeah, it is. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you later.